let's revisit the data types in C language. We had discussed about these data types in the previous lecture. Let's have a relook. We had talked about various data types like char, which is also called signed char, and it takes up one byte in the memory. And I had also mentioned the value ranges. Then we people have got unsigned char, int, which is also called signed int, unsigned int, short, unsigned short, long int, unsigned long int. Then we had uh, seen floating point data types. Floating point data types basically they are used for the variables which have the requirement of using decimal numbers. So along the course we people will be using all these data types. Now I am going to tell you about the syntax of using printf and scanf library functions. First I should tell you syntax means the rule of writing a statement that means it's a sort of formula. Printf is used to display the output on the screen. It can be the values of variables and scanf is used to read the values from the user. Of course in this case the user will be reading the values that is inputting the values from the keyboard. Suppose we have a variable x of int data type and another variable y of float data type. In order to read that is input their values from the keyboard we will issue the scanf statement as follows. scanf %ld %lf see carefully %ld %lf they have been enclosed within double inverted commas followed by a comma then followed by the names of variables which we want to input but see carefully the names of these variables have been preceded with ampersand symbol. Now I should tell you %ld %lf these symbols are called format specifiers and we will talk about format specifiers after a while from now. When this statement will be executed that is the scanf statement when this statement would be executed the cursor will start blinking prompting the user to input two values. The first value that will be inputted by the user will go to the variable x and second to variable y. Now if we want to display the values of variables x and y on the output screen we will use the printf statement in the following manner. Printf %ld %lf again these are format specifiers which are supposed to be written within double inverted commas followed by a comma then x and y. See all the statements barring a few ones are always terminated with the semicolon. So you can notice one another thing in case of printf the names of variables are not preceded with ampersand symbols. Now when this printf statement would executed what would happen is the values of the variables x and y they will be printed on the output screen. Now I am going to show you an example whereby we people will be seeing how to use printf and scanf in a practical program. So you can see the first thing I am doing is I am going to include a header file called stdio.h. See a header file is nothing else but it is a collection of declarations of many library functions. There are many library functions in C language and all of them they have been clubbed into various header files. During this course we people will be using a host of header files. Then I am writing int main. Actually in C language irrespective of any number of functions that you write the presence of the function main is mandatory. 
actually the function main is the entry and exit point of any C program. Now I am going to declare three variables and the syntax of declaring a variable goes like this. First we are supposed to give I data type be it int or float or whatever data type you want to use for these variables and at the same time you can also initialize the values of these variables like I have declared the variable a and at the same time I have initialized it with the value 100 I have declared the variable b which also happens to be of int data type and I have initialized it with the value 900 I have declared the variable c also but I have not initialized it with any value all these variables they have been separated with comma and they belong to the data type int. In the following statement I have used the statement c is equal to a plus b. Always remember is equal to is an assignment operator in C language. Now what will happen is the expression written on the right side of this assignment operator would be evaluated and after that whatever is the result that will be put into the variable written onto the left side of the assignment operator. Now I am going to use printf in order to display the value of this variable c. As we have discussed earlier the syntax of printf goes like this. First we are supposed to give the format specifier. I am giving the format specifier percent %ld. Why? Because C happens to be of int data type. Now I am going to execute this program. First I will have to save the program. You can save it anywhere in the folder of your own choice. I am going to create a new folder with the name Udemy students of C then I am going to save the program with any name let it be first.c make it sure that you give the extension .c now I am going to execute it go to the menu and execute the program see the result it's showing 1000 so this is how we people can execute a program the shortcut key for executing a program is F11 or alternatively you can go to the execute option of the menu bar and then you can go to the option compile and execute. Now what I am going to do is I am going to get the values from the user. In the earlier case what I have done is I have initialized the values of the variables at the time of declaration. Now I want the values to be inputted by the user. So I am using scanf. Percent %ld, percent %ld format specifiers are being used because both the variables a and b they happen to be of int data type. Now I am going to execute the program. See it's asking for the values of a and b. The cursor is blinking twice because of scanf. Now see the result is 800. Now you can see in this case the values were not fixed by the programmer rather the values were given by the user himself. Now see we people have used format specifiers in case of printf and scanf. Always remember the format specifiers are dependent upon the data types of the concerned variables. If the data type of the variable is int we people are supposed to use %d or %i as format specifier. If the data type of the variable happens to be unsigned int then it's going to be %u and so on. You can see the list it's quite simple in case of char it's %c in case of long double it is %lf but mind it l is capital in case of double it is %lf but l is small. So in the next lectures we people are going to write a lot of sample programs whereby you people will become comfortable with the use of printf and scanf.